nine, two, five. Two, five, eight. Uh, your brain said no. <laughs> no, it just kind of gave up. <laughs> So recently I was reading Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow book, and amongst other things, there was a particular test that caught my attention. Um, it was just a little simple piece where you, it's called uh, either the plus one or the plus three activity, and what it does is it's a measure of cognitive arousal, and the way that they tested this was by measuring the dilation of your pupil, and I figured that I could try this one out. What you need to do is uh, you're given um, a set of random numbers, like uh, single digit numbers, like three, five, seven, and then you are expected to add one to each of those numbers. So in this case, three, five, seven would go to four, six, and eight. And it engages your conscious brain, your, your system two thinking, according to Daniel Kahneman. And an indicator of your system two thinking being engaged is that your pupil will dilate. So what I've actually done here is I've gotten my cell phone rigged up with a little lens. Uh, this lens came out of uh, one of these little clickers. This is a real old one. These, uh, you see me use these in all my other videos with the little laser. So you just take the top off and it's right in there. You gotta break the top plastic bit off with some pliers, but then this little lens comes out and obviously I've just got it taped here with a bobby pin. If I hold this right up against my eyeball, like right up against my eyeball and record, um, I can just make out the edge of my pupil. That said, when it actually came to it, I couldn't get it to work with the small laser lens. The focal length was just too short. While I could take the occasional picture, I couldn't really get any quality video. First it was off-center, then I went to look in a mirror to get it centered, but it was too dark. Then it was out of focus. The problem is that if I move it all, like this, the uh, size of my pupil changes drastically um, and totally, totally obfuscates what I'm trying to go for. So um, I'm gonna need some kind of an apparatus. Um, plus with just me, I wasn't sure if, you know, the, the, the change in my eye, uh, in, my, in my iris or my, in my pupil, pupil, that's the word I'm looking for, in my pupil would be sufficient to uh, really establish the correlation. Next, I tried making a Google Cardboard sort of a thing, but my focusing and lighting issues persisted. So again, I put this project on hold. However, a while later, the perfect opportunity arose to get access to a lot of potential volunteers. Thinkercon in Huntsville. Okay, so I'm down here in Huntsville, Thinkercon, but I think I finally have a device that's working. Um, so what I have here is, here, maybe put it in front. I went ahead and bought one of those things for the cell phone uh, because while my paper clip and, or my bobby pin and uh, tiny lens kind of worked, it was really finicky to try and get it all adjusted. And then I also got, um, you know, some of these uh, 3D glasses frames and dremeled it out so that the, the lens could, could fit inside. But I think I finally gotten it to a point where it looks like uh, it's working. And hopefully I can get some other people to put these things on their face. Say hi to Nick Lucid, everybody. This is Emily. And this is Jonathan. Say hi. Hello. Uh, this is Stu from New Zealand. Say hi, Stu. Hi, Stu. Hi, look, it's Emily Page. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, say hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Waiting in line here at ThinkerCon um, has agreed to be the next guinea pig. Now I gotta poke you in the eye. Get this to focus. So we're gonna start with just uh, single digits. Just repeat them back to me. Um, so they're all gonna be single digit numbers, so nothing okay. super crazy. I'm not gonna like, they're all gonna be rational. Right. It's fine. Whole numbers even. One, eight, three. One, eight, three. Uh, three, seven, four. Three, seven, four. One, seven, two. One, seven, two. Great. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna, that's a great baseline. Great, yeah. No thinking involved. No thinking at all. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and switch to the adding one. So uh, I'm gonna say three numbers and then I want you to add one to each of those and repeat that back to me. Three, one, eight. Four, two, nine. Seven, three, five. Eight, four, six. Great. Eight, two, five. 
nine, three, six. Great. Nine, seven, four. Uh, ten, eight, five. Cool. Looking good. I can kind of see you thinking. So let's try and move up to number three. Eight, two, five. Eleven, five, eight. Three, one, six. Six, four, ten. Two, five, three. Uh, three, six, four. Great. Seven, four, one. Uh, ten, seven, four. Uh, five, six, three. Eight, nine, six. Great. Three, seven, one. Six, ten, four. Cool. Oh, great job. That's all I needed. Well, we'll have to analyze the data later, but that's all I needed for now. Okay. So speaking of data analysis, I was able to identify a marked dilation in the pupil of every subject, at least while they were doing the plus three exercise. Typically this would occur just after I finished delivering the numbers to them. Um, as you can see here with Peter from Stacks and Facts. Um, seven, two, five. 10, five, eight. That was, that was good. I could totally see your pupil changing. That was it, yeah. I also saw some dilation of the pupil when I was doing the plus one activity. Um, for instance, one of the trials with uh, Nick Lucid from Science Asylum, um, you could see that pretty well. But that was inconsistent at this level. Nine, seven, four. Uh, ten, eight, five. Cool. Looking good. I can kind of see you thinking. So let's try and move up to number three. Now, while this is pretty convincing at a heuristic level that there really are two mental modes, the best part, as is usual with experiments, it was entirely unintentional. So while I was working with Stella Page of Shed Science, um, I forgot to hit record the first time, so by the second time around, she had gotten a lot faster. Um, five, seven, two. Eight, ten, five. Are you thinking less now? You're getting better. Than the first time when we didn't, yeah. when I messed up. It's because like, it's uh, you're saying them slower. I'm able to add three to each time instead of having to hold them all in my head at oh, once. Oh, being so clever. Okay. Um, three, six, four. <laughs> six, nine, seven. <laughs> Great. Okay. That's very good. Thank you very much. It's wonderful data. <laughs> Thank you. So while her cleverness was irritating, she actually accidentally ended up telling me exactly when she was doing the thinking, so to speak. Bearing this in mind, I took a closer look at that same piece of footage. Here, you look again too. Um, five, seven, two. Eight, ten, five. Did you see that? Immediately after each number I fed her, her pupil dilated at exactly the time she reported doing the calculation. If you want to see the full-length tests of everyone, I left a link in the doobly-doo to an unlisted uh, video where it just goes through every single trial and, and all of the different tests that I did without any of the overlays or additional information so you can make your own uh, judgment call. Now bringing it back to the book Thinking Fast and Slow, the whole reason I wanted to do this particular test in the first place is because large chunks of the book depend on the theory that there are really two different modes of thinking, a, you know, a fast and a slow version or a uh, unfocused and focused version. By performing this test myself, I can lend greater credence to the rest of the book because I was able to verify at least one of the claims made. This is really what I love about science. You can start by watching a video like this one, or by going to youcanscienceit.com and reading the write-up that I made about it, or reading Thinking Fast and Slow or whatever, but you don't have to stop there. There's really nothing stopping you from interrogating the world yourself by an experiment. But like I always say, you don't have to take my word for it because you can science it. All right, putting it on for the style. Five, ten, six. No? No, that makes sense. I'm, I'm adding badly in okay. my head. You got it right. Okay. Well, that should be some great data. Thank you very much for participating. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much for participating. No worries. And I'll, I'll let you know when the video is all uh, done. You can take all that down now if you want. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all I needed. Well, all right. 
<laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Y'all are already subscribed. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna, this is gonna be like the omnibus video of everyone and their brother that I was able to convince. I dig it.